Good morning, everyone. This is Carla Froze recording from Bedford, Pennsylvania on Friday, September 27th, 2019. And today I'm going to uh, give my uh, game preview and prediction for the uh, Lions and the uh, Kansas City team uh, coming up right after this. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Okay, this is Carl F. Rose, uh, recording from Bedford, Pennsylvania, on uh, uh, Friday, uh, September 27, 2019. And um, uh, normally I, I do my uh, pre previews on Saturdays, but I uh, had an um, unexpected uh, uh, photo shoot coming up tomorrow, a uh, car show and stuff. So no podcast tomorrow either, um, and uh, no video. So I'm doing everything today. Anyway, uh, let's uh, get on with it. And um, uh, Sunday, this is going to be the biggest game of the year for the uh, Lions. The biggest test for them. Um, uh, I feel that they're they're capable. Uh, they have the talent to win um, the game and pull off a big upset. Uh, this is going to be huge. This is uh, this is at home. Uh, this is against uh, probably the best team in, in the NFL right now that I'm, I'm saying. If the, the Lions can manage to, to at least hold the Kansas City team to under 30 points, uh, preferably around 20 to 24, if that's even humanly possible, uh, that would be fantastic. And even if they lose the game, holding Kansas City to under 30 points to maybe around 20. And if they if they keep it close and the uh, close, even if they lose, if it's like um, 24 to to 21, something like that, uh, with a Kansas City win. Not that I like it, uh, but if they if they do that and um, and they, they make Kansas City sweat. Well, that's going to say a lot about the Lions. Uh, good news is the uh, Packers lost uh, to the Eagles uh, last night on Thursday night. I went to bed at halftime. I was just too tired, too exhausted. Uh, but anyway, that's good news. This is, this is really key. Uh, I consider this game, um, Sunday's game, a must-game win. And then, then they get the bye week. Then, they, then um, their, uh, Green Bay um, is always a must-win. So these next two games for the Lions are a must game, must win. Uh, they do that, they will be sitting really good, really good. Because also on Sunday uh, the Vikings and the Bears play. So unless that comes out as a tie, which would be kind of interesting, uh, uh, that would uh, one of those teams is going to lose. So so everything right now the Lions are in the driver's seat. They have their future is this year, this season is in their control right now. And you know, now it's time for uh, Coach Patricia to step up to the plate and uh, ex have excellent uh, play calling. And uh, their running game has to absolutely positively has to come to life in this game. Uh, if it doesn't, then uh, the Lions are going to be in trouble. Uh, there the really is a, it's a number of reasons because not only do they need to get their running game uh, going just for that reason itself, just to get the running game going, uh, they need to be able to do that. So that way it's going to open up other options. And, and if Danny Amendola can't go, uh, they still have uh, three other options. But they, they carry on Johnson needs to get... get uh, and get going and maybe it's the blocking scheme maybe they're not run blocking good but uh, something at, at least they're they're keeping um, Matthew Stafford upright and um, but um, uh, again that's gonna be key so um, and uh, I don't want Daryl Bevel to to veer away from what he's doing but I want him to try different things uh, the, the, what I like is that he is not like um, uh, Jim Bob Cooter. It's, this is not a predictable offense. Yes, they are running, um, but they need to. Um, there are certain uh, lineups or, or certain certain formations that they get into that are predictable, and that's only because the running game hasn't opened up yet. So uh, 
that is that's the key that's the key to the game is is the the running game i think also the the defensive line really needs to to step it up too um they've been underperforming um but the, the secondary and the linebackers have been um doing um they've been They've been doing pr pretty well, and I, I'm really impressed with uh, uh, Jelani Tavai. Uh, um, I think Jared Davis is still kind of, you know, uh, recovering from his injury, so he's still not up to snuff yet, but uh, but he'll get there. Uh, but uh, Jelani Tavai has been a, just a nice fill-in, and um, so... Um, that's that's just the the way it goes. It needs to. We need to get. They need to get. I don't expect too many sacks on Patrick Mahomes because he's just um, just because his style of play. Um, so you know, if if you're wanting a lot of sacks against him, uh, that's not going to happen. Uh, mainly, you do you do got to contain him. Uh, I don't want to see him get any long runs. Um, um, you know, 20 or 30 yard runs, which he is capable of doing. He's he's capable of actually of taking it the distance, if you if you let him. So, um, so they 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 need to um, really contain his legs, uh, uh, get him into a position where um, he he makes a mistake, which that's uh, uh, making him make a mistake is just. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's asking a lot because he just doesn't make too many mistakes. He's just a, he's a good. The, the Kansas City team is just a well-rounded team, and uh, um, biggest takeaway for me is even if the Lions lose, if they if they make Kansas City sweat, if they make them earn their victory, well, that'll be okay. I won't be happy, um, but. But that will say a lot. It will actually get some heads turning towards the Detroit Lions. Um, and uh, but actually, so now, really, what I what I I think the final score, my prediction is going to be uh, Kansas City, twenty eight, uh, the Lions twenty, something like that. Um, um, I hope I'm wrong. I hope it's a flip flop. But um, Kansas City is just a really good team and. Uh, uh, let's just see where the Lions go, and uh, let's see them hit a home run and pull up an upset. And because they will be the buzz of the town, and they'll have the bye week to heal up. And um, uh, so we'll we'll uh, see then. And uh, uh, that's it for now. And uh, I will talk to you later. And I'll be probably uh, be doing my podcast on Monday morning after the game. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be busy the, the next day, and then Sunday I'm not I'm not recording anything. So um, we will talk to you. Later.